So our solution and what we're kind of working with is True You. Hi, I'm Kiana, and our story is Sophia is a 16-year-old girl who is struggling from depression. She is one teenager out of the other 1.8 million teenagers who are also struggling. Sophia is shy and is also struggling from high anxiety. She tries to change herself to please others. She feels like she can't be her true self. At home, her parents are always fighting, so she spends most of her time isolated and alone. She always sits there and wonders, why her? Why is she the person going through this? She doesn't know how others feel the same way and been through the same situations. Her day-to-day -day life is similar on a daily basis. She goes to school, practice, and work, not giving her time to meet new people and socialize and talk with her friends. She doesn't feel accepted in society today. She's always posting what everyone else would like to see and never can take a picture without a filter because she doesn't feel pretty without it. She's four out of every five girls who feels like they have to change and hide behind social media's filters. She's not alone, and we have a way that teenagers like her can tell and read stories about similar situations so they know they're not alone, the only ones struggling from today's society's high unnatural standards. True you is being your true self, knowing you're not alone and you're perfect the way you are. You don't have to um, starve yourself, wear makeup, wear revealing clothes, change yourself in any way for society standards. Be uniquely you, true you. Okay, hi, I'm Autumn, and our solution for supporting teens that are struggling with mental health and societal standards is to provide resources that can be in a book, app, or website that give teens an opportunity to share their stories that they struggle with. Those stories are then reviewed and adapted into our stories focusing on an empathy and shared experiences for other teens to read about and know that they are not alone. The short stories and resources will focus on specific topics such as bullying, depression, anxiety, self-worth, loneliness, confidence, and harm. All the stories will provide support to the reader to let them know that they are not alone and also where to get help. Oh. Hi, I'm Natalie, and as a mentor, you should work with us because we are determined that our business has potential to become success successful and help many people. Your experience and knowledge can help us go further as a business. Hello, I'm Lauren. Lots have struggled for mental health, and if you or someone you know has experienced mental health struggles, that experience and empathy can help us learn and grow. And also, we wanted to thank you guys for being here today. Is there anything else like this out there right now? Um, there's like different brands like that kind of target it. Like there's Dove Self Esteem Project, but it doesn't have like a book or anything. It's just kind of uh, different things that they're doing that kind of bring awareness to the topics, but it's not a solution and it's not from teens. It's from like a big business. So I think from a perspective of teenagers to teenagers, if you think about it, like most kids, when their parents are telling them a story from like when they were younger, they're not going to really listen to their parents because they're like, you don't have social media, you don't know the different causes and the different things that today like we face because of all social media especially, which is bringing negative impacts to our society. I don't know if you guys have focused on in the news, but Facebook, including Facebook and Instagram, actually just came out with um, proof and records of it being negative to teenagers' uh, self-esteem. So we also think if we, so like kind of our profit, we're gonna start off with a website which is gonna be completely free so people can put their stories out there and then we would have it like if they wanted it and kind of have a book where it would have different sections for like bullying, depression, suicidal thoughts, anxiety. And then we're also, we kind of wanted to talk to counselors and get kind of what they recommend within that section. So there's also kind of research behind that. And then further on, like from the um, profits from the book, turn it into an app so we kind of get the um, profit off of the book to kind of help us start off with the app. And on the app, we would kind of have like different things and we were thinking if you did buy a book it would have like a QR code so like you could get like the premium version if you did buy the book so we could kind of do it off of that and have a premium and a non-premium version 
and like with the premium version like you were thinking of even ha listing different like games and activities that you could do that can kind of help and have different like targeted different songs that like if you have ever listened to the radio and there's that one song that like always just makes you happy and stuff like having more empowerment songs different books that might also kind of tie into that and just different ways you can also find help like on our about page like always having like a suicide um hotline because i know some people would definitely just seeing that like knowing that maybe they do need to get help and then they can go through that so yeah that's kind of where we were gonna go and i think also making an app now that also uh facebook and instagram just came out with that would also have lots of teens be more willing to join our app knowing that it is all about lifting people up and it's more of like a positive way to connect with people you just did a great job answering most of my questions in the last two or three minutes there so thank you where do you see most of the content coming from i mean is this something that you are going to create or are you hoping other teens bring stuff forward or are you looking at some experts some psychologists yeah so for me i've gotten i've kind of went through a lot of like i have really high, high anxiety and i have went through depression and stuff so for me i think this would be like a very positive solution i know like when I needed help, hearing other people's stories and how they got through it kind of helped me get through it, knowing that I wasn't alone because I was in seventh grade at the time. So back then, like your body's changing, you feel alone, like especially if you're developing and before people. And so just knowing that it's not just me and just hearing from other people. So we did want to kind of like talk to counselors and we were even thinking about like when we do our uh, customer segments, even going to like the Boys and Girls Club and Fond du Lac, hearing kind of what they have to say, because I know especially in their, um, they also kind of struggle through that because when I actually created a club back in middle school called Empowering Teens for Better Self-Esteem, which we talked about different hot topics relating back to teens. And so it's like fun different things. Like you make like a little heart with your name and then five um, positive things that you like yourself. And watching that, a sad thing to see is that five, like in my group of teens, people ha struggle finding five positive things about them. Because like, maybe they really like their hair, but then someone that day was like, oh, I don't like your hair, you should cut it, or maybe you should grow it out longer. So like, people like just not at you. And especially with society today, it, people can hide behind a screen and they can say negative things without getting caught. So we kind of, if we did come up with an app, we would have like certain like words blocked out so people couldn't say negative things and we would like watch it and kind of go off of that and having like professionals and talking to even like mental therapists and different people in the community who kind of have more background of this and what they think has helped people and how other people got through it and different resources that way. And I think for like uh, starting up our website, we were going to start with our stories first and then have other people add on and then put those stories into a book to make the book and then do just different like chapters with different stories and yeah. different like um, different categories. Yeah. And as we grow, we also think that we could always like make, you know, how there's different books that have like part two, part three, we could always go further on the line. Like if there's more different topics, we can always make more books off of those and have different things on different topics too. Thank you. Thank you.